Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Yes, it's another week. It's another video. I just thought I'd do a little bit of an impromptu video today because um, I was planning to do a little talk on... Um, there seems to be lots of YouTube. There's a lot of chatter around about YouTube changes and all that at the minute. Um, I was going to do a little bit on that, but... I don't feel that I've I've got enough knowledge at the minute to, to make any sense with it. Um, but I have I have watched a couple of videos uh, regarding it. One in particular is is Eric Waite Whiskey Studies. Uh, he's done a really great video on it. So if you want to ever pop over to his channel, guys, and have a quick look, and he'll it's it's really an interesting little chat from Eric. Um, so what I'm going to do today. I'm going to have a little, I'm not going to review a whiskey today, but I'm going to have a, have a dram. So I'm going to have a little bit of Aaron, Aaron Amarone. Lovely, lovely. So I will have a dram with you today, guys. But what I'm going to discuss, I'm going to just give a little bit of an update uh, as regards to my channel. Um, with all these changes against... Uh, from YouTube about um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, live streaming mobile live streaming uh, fortunately for me that doesn't affect me that much because I don't tend to do I'm not doing any live streams at the moment I will in the future um, but I will um, I will be doing that from a from a laptop so I'm not really on a mobile device I know some guys have had some issues who normally do mobile um, live streams, I'm sure they'll sort it out. Um, unfortunately, guys, it's one of those things, YouTube make the rules, they can change it whenever they want, um, and we just have to adapt. Uh, regarding my channel, um, I just want to highlight, obviously some people or some channels are doing this, really, there's some full-time YouTubers, who are tend to in it and they're making some money on it, they're sharing some whiskies, they're doing fantastic videos, uh, great editing jobs. The, um, me, <laughs> I just want to sit and share my whiskey. Um, in my neck of the woods, or in my part of the world, there's not a lot of, I'm not in a big whiskey circle, so for me, this was perfect, um, where I can just sit down in front of a camera, on a Monday night, a Tuesday night, any night of the week and just have a few drams and then hopefully pop a video out and, and share it with everyone and I always look forward to the comments. So I've, I've actually made a lot of great, I feel, I feel like they're good, good friends now and I've probably never met most of them, um, but we seem to be getting on great on and within the comments on YouTube, which is fantastic and what it's all about for me. Um, it's just purely the whiskey. I'm probably in a, a lucky position where I was collecting whiskey a long, long time before I started drinking it. Um, so I have built up quite a substantial uh, amount of whiskey. So I think for the the ordinary whiskey lover out there, this this would be difficult to do um, because it does it does take a bit of financial backing to go out and keep buying whiskey just to come out and review them. Um, but the great the great thing with that is I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. Uh, let me have a sip. Getting a little bit dry now. I can I can smell I can smell this whiskey so it's it's getting the better of me. So slanch folks. That's, that's better. Where was I? Yeah, it's be quite difficult for the ordinary guy in the street there who's who's a fantastic whiskey lover to sit down and do this kind of stuff because it, you need a fair amount of, of whiskey to do it. So fortunately, I have enough to keep me going for a while. It is self-funding. I make no money from YouTube. I don't ever plan to make any money from YouTube. I don't ever think my channel will get big enough to make any money from it. 
Uh, and for me, that's that's the way I like it. Um, purely in it, just to sit down and just share a dram and discuss my whiskey. Um, one of the great things that's came out of YouTube, as I said earlier, I've got lots and lots of what I would class to be as friends now. Not the traditional type of friend that, again, it's that virtual friend. So I have lots of virtual friends and and the great thing about it is, and one of the main ethos of the channel and really why I started it, I really started it just, just to have some drinks and just, just try it out and see what, what, it, what happened from it. But it's really changed and it's transformed in, in such a fantastic way as that community out there is, it's an awesome community. So all those virtual friends are all sharing whiskies, they're all sharing drams. I get inundated with bottles coming in to try and I'm in the same respect, I'm sending out lots of samples for people to try. I've got to the stage now where I'm on first name terms with the girl or the guy in the post office um, where they know that what, what I'm sending out. The, the, the only downside to that, guys, is, is the restrictions. There seems to be lots and lots of restrictions uh, in, in putting whiskey into the post, um, which I can't fathom it because they're only tiny little little sample bottles, but the restrictions seem to be ex extreme. There's certain places that I'd love to send whiskey to that I can't. Um, and even I've just sent a couple out today in the UK and it, and it was a bit yeah, it was a bit more difficult to, to, to send. What I, I was limited to what I could send. I'd love to have sent more. Um, but apparently you're only limited to sending two bottles and the two miniature bottles in the UK. Um, so as regards with that, I think it's but the whole the whole ethos and the great thing about it is just is the whole thing of sharing whiskies. As I say, I like to to drink it, share it, taste it, smell it, share it with everyone, uh, talk about it. Uh, and what I think's coming out of it is is with it, the all the little sample bottles that are going around, people are getting to sample something that they probably isn't in their territory, it's not available in their territory. So if we can, if we're able to send a sample, then people actually get to try that. Uh, I know I have sent the teapot to Canada, I've sent the Glengoyne 21 to Canada, and I've sent various things in different parts of the world. I've sent some stuff to, uh, where was it? Where did I send the last one? Um, oh. Estonia. I've actually sent some samples to Estonia. Um, hope you enjoyed them, Tzvetsa. Or Tzvetsa. Uh, hope I haven't butchered your name again. Um, so that, that regard for me, it's absolutely fantastic. And it's all about the sharing. It's all about the community. It's all about passing your whiskey around because people can't afford to buy all those bottles. So if, even if they get a little chance to just try something, if they like it, then they can make a decision whether they want to go and try and source it or search it out. Um, so that that's pretty much um, what I wanted to discuss a little bit today is just purely just to come on and thank everyone who's subscribed, uh, everyone who's channel on my commented on my channels, ever anybody who's watched my videos. I'm really humble. Uh, I never thought I would. It would turn out this way, but it's 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 great. Every day is great. Uh, even just sitting now, having a dram, talking to a camera, knowing that it's going to go out there all around the world, and people can either watch it or not watch it. People can engage with it or don't engage with it. They can watch two minutes of it or they can watch all ten minutes of it. It's it's everyone's their own, and that that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of YouTube, and I'm very thankful to YouTube for given us this platform. So as regards with the changes they make, I can understand the reasons why they're making some of the changes. It may cause us a little bit of grief from time to time, and we, but we just have to learn to adapt. Um, as I say, it's a free platform, um, and, and as, as people we will adapt, we'll have to adapt, and we just have to get on with it really is, and, I can, and that's, that's just how it is. Anyway, 
One of the other reasons why I was talking about the channel today is there's a little update coming soon is that I'm going to be changing venue for the summer. Um, I'm going to pop a little link. Well, I won't pop a link. The, I'll just let everyone know where we're going. The Whiskey Friend is going to go outdoors for the summer. Um, I'm just going to show you what I mean. And at the moment, it's a work in progress. I'm a few weeks off from that. So hopefully in time for the, the better weather, uh, the Whiskey Friend will go outdoors. Um, looking forward to that. Very interested to see the, the, the change from, obviously, the current um, place that I, I shoot my videos from at the minute to going to be the new place. Uh, I'd say I'm just doing a wee bit of finishing touches towards that now, and as I say, in a couple of weeks, that should be should be up and running. Um, hopefully from there, um, I'm going to try and attempt to do I'll obviously do one live stream to see how things work out and if it's something that I'm enjoying then I'll obviously continue to do that going forward. Um, so other than that guys, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. Just a quick short, well I said it was going to be short but I've, I've probably waffled on a bit too much again. Uh, I might have to do a bit of editing on this and cut some, some waffle out. Um, and as long as I don't cut the the sipping of the drama out, that's, that's the main thing. So again, guys, until next time, I'm the Whiskey Friend, Alan, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks very much. It's lunch.